Good morning, everyone. It's Carol at Heavenly Scent. It is, uh, what, January 21st. So I have several announcements to make about uh, the coming year for Heavenly Scent in Henderson, Michigan. Uh, I am today announcing my retirement. Oh, my goodness. And I know that's going to uh, cause lots and lots of questions from everybody, including myself. Um, I've been trying to retire for two years and I can't just let go. So uh, the time has come. Dean's waited seven years in his retirement for me to join him. And we plan on playing a lot more and having several less commitments and uh, just having fun. So what does that mean for you? What it means is we are going to continue to groom through April 9th. And that same day, uh, it will be Nicole's start of her 12-week maternity leave. And so I use that as sort of a line in the sand for me to make my decision finally. Um, and I have offered her my business um, to locate here. Um, she and her family are making lots of decisions about what that might look like. She um, is committed to her professional grooming career and is doing so well that uh, you can be assured that she's going to pop back up in July when um, her baby is, uh, what, three months old. So um, you all have schedules from now through April 9th, some of you um, every two weeks, some of you four and six. So you're on our schedule through April 9th. And then we are delaying, um, Nicole is delaying her scheduling until she gets further along with a brand new baby, her first, and what that means to her family. So we are not scheduling beyond April 9th at this point. Um, I'm not making any commitments for Nicole. I am not selling this beautiful facility or downsizing. I'm kind of waiting to see what she chooses that she wants to do. And then we'll go from there. Regarding boarding, I am honoring my 2023 schedule that I published, and here's what that calendar looks like pictorially. It is on my website at heavenlysunpetresort.com. I'm open for about 75 nights in 2023, and I have schedule pretty much sold out for spring break starting in March. But um, go to my website, and you can get updates about the boarding schedule and what that's going to look like for you around every holiday. And I probably will continue training now and then. I normally, for the last several years, have done a spring and then a fall class. So watch my Facebook page for that. So I know this is going to be a little bit of a crazy time for you and for us. We have um, begun preparing a uh, list of groomers that we will let you know they're available. Um, I am shy of saying they're you know, endorsed or recommended by me, but they do have good reputations and um, they're all they're they're all pursuing great careers on their own. I am proud to have mentored several women into this career and they're out there, so take advantage of them. Um, we will print that list up and make it available upon your request. So, oh my gosh, this is like a gut wrench for me, you know that. But I'm really excited about where things are going. And, uh, you know, I won't put my scissors down forever and ever. Um, but I don't want to make any commitments to you to say, oh, well, I'll do your dog on the side. I'm just not going to do that right now as I am ready for a big trip to Florida coming up here in February. And we've got some camping reservations. And I want a quilt. And I want to go to quilt camps with my friends. And... Uh, yeah, life goes on. So I know this is news that you probably aren't thrilled about, but uh, please know that uh, it hasn't come without a lot of consideration. And you know that I will always have your dogs close to my heart. Um, and many of you I've known for so long and have you've been supportive of my 17 years of grooming career. So God bless you all. And Watch this site for more developments. Thanks and have a great morning.